Hey YouTube, it's Just Stone here back again with another video and today we're going to do something a little special. So as you can see from the video title, we are going to be reviewing a replica version of the brand new Arsenal jersey for the 2020-2021 season. So I went down to the Emirates Stadium today to pick this up for a friend. This is actually a gift for him. So it's not my shirt, so I'm not gonna be wearing it and modeling it and such and such like I've done in previous reviews. Went down to the Emirates Stadium today, wanted to pick up a replica shirt and I wanted to look at them in person because as I've gone over before in previous reviews, the badges aren't always you know, identical, 100% perfect on the replicas because they're embroidered on, but we're gonna get into that a little bit later into the review. All right, first things first. So this is a replica. Uh, the main difference is between the replica and the authentic shirt, first of all, is the fit. Now this is what is known as a regular fit, whereas the authentic version is more of a slim fit. So it's more you know, tighter to the player's bodies. I don't think they're as tight as the Puma ones were, but they, they seem like they're a lot fitted. I haven't tried one on myself, but yeah, this is a regular fit. As with the home shirt that I had last season, that was a replica as well. So that was a regular fit and I found it hangs nicely off your body. You get plenty of ventilation, but it can be a little baggy sometimes. So just to quickly touch on the similarities or differences between this and the authentic version. The authentic version, the pattern doesn't look too different. Now on the website, the Arsenal website and other sports websites, in the pictures, the pattern, so you've got the uh, red sort of marble tile pattern that they say they've put on the shirt with the sort of arrows that looks a bit like the old bruised banana sort of pattern. Um, the, on the websites, I don't know if it's just the lighting, whatever it is, but the replica sort of looks a little inferior to the authentic one. So the authentic one in the pictures, looks like there's a bit more color in it. The red is a little richer. Uh, the patterns are more evident, but I actually held this in comparison to an authentic shirt. And to be honest, the patterns looked exactly the same to me, or maybe there was a very, very, very slight difference. So unlike last year on the replicas, you had the sort of honeycomb effect in the material, but in this, it looks like just, um, I don't know how to put it, just like dots throughout the material. So as well as the fit, the differences between the replica and the authentic shirt is that the badge is embroidered on, the Adidas logo is embroidered on, and the Adidas uh, lines down the side of the shirt are also embroidered on. Whereas on the authentic one, it's all printed, so the badges are all gonna be even and the correct sort of shape and everything like that. The Adidas logo is printed on as well, but that, I think that has a 3D sort of finish to it, so it pops up from the shirt. And also the Adidas stripes down the side of the shirt are printed on as well, so they're, they're not 3D like they are with this replica where they are embroidered on. Right, so to review this shirt, compared to last season, they've gone for a round neck, I think is it a crew neck, compared to the sort of V-neck that ran around and looped over. And as you can see, the collar actually runs all the way around um, there we go, the back of the shirt, so that goes all the way around. Um, the Arsenal badge and the Adidas is uh, the same as usual. And in this time, they've actually gone for Emirates Fly Better rather than Fly Emirates. Um, my first impression of that was a bit iffy. I don't know, I, I, you know, I suppose I've gotten used to the Fly Emirates, but Fly Emirates, uh, sorry, Emirates Fly Better, yeah, what the heck, it doesn't make a difference, I guess. So the material itself is quite uh, thin. Um, you might not be able to see it here, but you can actually see through it quite easily. There you go, right there. You can see my arm through the material. So that's pretty much the same as it was on the replicas last season as well. The sleeves uh, start on the side here and they do sort of run down the shoulder. So as you can see there, that's the back of the shirt, runs down the shoulder, but then the sleeve does cut off just under the armpit there. To talk more about the sleeves, you do have uh, quite a thick sort of cuff on the sleeve. So that's the whole sleeve there and the cuff actually starts right here and then you've got this whole 
big section here where it's white and you've got red and uh, maroon or burgundy, however you want to call it, the classic Arsenal colour. So you've got one plain sleeve where they would put the league or competition badge. And on the other sleeve, you've got the uh, sleeve sponsor, which is uh, Visit Rwanda, as it has been for the past few years. And unlike last season's kit, the Adidas stripes don't run down the sleeves. As you can see, they just run down the side of the shirt there like that. There you go, there's a better angle of it. The stripes just run down the side of the shirt and that's the same on the other side as well. Right, so to flip the shirt over, um, as you've already seen, you've got the, uh, the white that runs from the collar down the back of the sleeve, so it's sort of on the shoulders, just on the back. Uh, on the back here, you've got a printed, but it's a little 3D of the classic Arsenal cannon that's right at the top there, just below the collar. That's a nice little touch. And the rest of the shirt is uh, plain. There's um, nothing else on there. So obviously you get your name and number if you wanna get printed, but there's nothing else to go there. And it's just the, just the plain shirt. So also just to go with the uh, regular fit of the replica, it is just a straight bottom. Um, as you can see there, it's just straight. Whereas on the authentic one, it sort of has like a little tail on the back, like a sort of, let's compare it to like a Ralph Lauren polo shirt or something like that. You get that little, hanging part. Um, I worked in uh, menswear for a year, but I still don't know the actual name for it, but it's like a little tail. So you get that on the authentic version, but not on the replica. So this is just a standard uh, football shirt, I guess. On the bottom of the shirt, you've got a little printed Aero Ready logo there. Um, unlike last season, there was a little sort of embroidered little emblem, the Arsenal or AFC, I think it said in the, on the other side of the bottom of the shirt. You haven't got that this year. And that also had, um, 1920 on it so 19 slash 20 for the 2019 2020 season you don't have that on this shirt so there's nothing to sort of symbolize that this is this current season's shirt right so to give my thoughts on this shirt when i initially saw this i was a little unenthusiastic about it the reason i say that is because i thought last season's first adidas shirt for how long was amazing. I really liked that shirt. It looked great. Um, compared to the last few shirts that Puma put out, I thought it was amazing. Um, I really liked it with the stripes down the sleeves. The collar was unique. Um, and it just looked like a really good shirt, one to sort of be proud of. And it's just a shame, I guess, that Arsenal didn't have a good season in it. But um, this shirt has grown on me. Um, my first thoughts about the pattern on the shirt, so the sort of, uh, it looks like arrows and it's supposed to be like the marble tiles of Highbury. Um, it took a bit of getting used to, but then I just realized it looks a bit like the sort of bruised banana pattern we had on last season's Away kit, which was also amazing in my opinion. Um, and I, I quite liked it. Um, it took a bit of getting used to the uh, stripes down the side of the shirt rather than on the sleeves. Um, but I also quite liked the sort of white shoulders on the back as well. That, I, I quite like that. That was quite a unique take. And also what I do like about this, so with the last Puma shirt that I bought, which you've seen me wear in other videos, they've gone for a sort of darker, richer red compared to last season. So last season was your classic red. This one's a bit darker, a bit richer, as I say. And I quite like that. And they've gone with that on this kit. And I think it, it really looks good. So I, I really, I really do, I am in favor of that. Right, so that's gonna do it for this review. Um, at the official Arsenal store, this retails for 60 pounds. So they are quite expensive. They seem to go up every year, it seems. And yeah, I think it's just, um, it sort of takes, takes getting used to maybe. It's, it's all down to personal preference. In my opinion, I like this shirt. Out of the three that Arsenal have this season, I'd say that this is probably my favorite. Um, and I'm hoping to get one of these, but I'm still deciding whether to get a replica or an authentic one. Um, I'd like to see what the big deal is about the authentic one, see how it fits, see what it's like to play football in. Um, yeah, maybe I might go for an authentic one this year, but time will tell, we'll see how that goes. So if I manage to get an authentic one, I'll do a review on that. It will be the first time I've ever had one of those. So for me, it'll be something special and hopefully I can share that with you. Okay, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up because my arms are aching holding the shirt up the whole time. Uh, if you like this video, it'd be great if you could like it or share it and you know, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you like this shirt? Has this helped you in buying one? Um, like I said, take into consideration the points about the authentic one. Uh, if I can do a review on that, I will do, but hopefully this, review of the replica shirt has helped you if you are looking to buy one of these 
Um, if you're a bit strapped for cash and you do want one, you can afford one, I'd say, I'd probably say go for the replica, but like I say, for my reasons, I might go for the authentic, but it all remains to be seen. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like, share, subscribe, that's all good with me. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. So take care, stay safe and all the best.